YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here, and I hope I've got you a fun replay here. This is going to be a Marathi and Death Hag Dark Elves taking on Volkmar the Grim and his Empire Army. So sit back, relax, get ready for some fun battle. Let's take a look at the two armies real quick. Um, on both my flanks, I have a dread spear. In the back, I've actually got four units of cold one spear riders, and I'll explain why in a moment. These are a fairly cheap anti armor, anti large cavalry unit. The huge downside to cold one units is that they go berserk, meaning that you could lose control of them pretty easily in a fight, so you have to be pretty careful about how you engage them. My front line is just four bleak swords with a couple of chevrons each. And uh, Marathi and the Death Hag here in the center are rocking these special abilities that basically take away a massive amount of melee attack um, from their enemies. So the Death Hag has this, um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Death Hag has this right here, the Chill Blade, which takes away five melee attack. Marathi takes away nine more melee attack. Um, so I mean, she's, she's brutal when it comes to the, the impacts that she has on the enemies around her, so lots of impacts that uh, that she can have there. So basically I'm going to try and nerf the enemy's melee attack, and I'm also rocking two Feral Manticores. These are also fairly risky units because they run Berserk, but they cause terror. I've brought them because they're cheap terror, and I expect the Empire to bring a mass of state troops, which they did. There's a lot of swordsmen, a lot of spearmen, three great swords to have a little bit of hitting power, and then here in the middle is supposed to be a tanky heal up kind of goon squad, right? Kind of. They're not meant to be crazy strong, but they're meant to be somewhat tough, and Volkmar buffs the uh, the infantry so that they act better in combat, and he's protected by four units of Empire Knights. Now, I've played against this Han player before, and I've played against others similar to him who really like to tank up on Empire Knights against factions like the Dark Elves, because they think, yeah, the Dark Elves will just come expecting demigriffs, and in fact, I'm going to bring all this cavalry that's really good against their infantry. And uh, in this case, my opponent's trying to kind of use it through his own infantry. I'm going to counter that just a little bit with some of my own. So I don't want him to get away with all these, but there's other cases too where it's, I don't really feel like it's worth for me to charge into this, so I'm not going to. In fact, what you're going to see me do is split up and take this flank, and then I'm going to see this gap in the army, and I'm going to start moving through his lines. Now here in the center, this engagement, I've used a uh, Doom and Darkness, so I'm going to hurt the leadership of his infantry pretty badly. Unfortunately, Volkmar is buffing it up pretty majorly. Uh, but I do get a quick rear charge here with my Cold Ones once they find that hole. Just trying to drop the leadership on some of these units because they're under the effect of Doom and Darkness. So there it comes. There's the Doom and Darkness, and you can see that several, uh, several units go ahead and rout, and then the Terror kicks in. So my army is working as intended in the middle. And then over here, I knew he was just going to try and get around me with the Empire Knights, so I set chase to him. They're a little bit faster than my Spear Riders. So he'll be able to break up this fight over here, which is unfortunate for me. But he's going to lose a lot of Empire Knights in the process getting chased down. My uh, Cold One Spear Riders are going to be very good. Very good against Empire Knights. And you can see back here, we're just wreaking havoc. A bunch of his units routed, and I'm able to get after them. And again, my Spear Riders chasing them down. Two Empire Knights over here almost dead. Uh, this one over here is almost dead. Uh, this one he's holding back for combat. In the center, you can see his units aren't going to make much headway. They've got almost no melee attack. And this is the effect of Marathi. So I'm basically just tanking most of his stats here in the center. So he's trying to execute Marathi. But I was able to pick off his Jade Wizard here. And this was actually a pretty clutch play for me. I saw his Jade Wizard not in a good position to be able to run away, so my Manticore dive-bombed it, terrified it, and I can now chase it completely out of the fight. So he's going to lose his ability to heal, which is absolutely critical for his heroes and his infantry. So now he basically can't effectively attack my units in the center because of Marathi's debuffs, and uh, once she's in combat, it'll be worse, of course. She's not in combat right now. I was giving her a quick break just to get away from um, Volkmar. So the good thing here is I've taken out most of the Empire mobility, not all of it, most of it. 
I'm about to finish off another unit, so I'm trying to get rid of all their mobility. I can handle an infantry blob because of the Death Hag and Marathi. We can do that. Um, and we've got the terror from these Manticore still. And again, you can see back here, just going to escort this Jay's Wizard all the way off the battlefield. Annoying that I have to dedicate a unit to do this, but absolutely worth it. If he brings back that Jade Wizard, Volkmar is going to be nearly unkillable. And his Empire Captain can get healed as well. None of that is good for me. Back here, I swamped his Captain. Um, not intentionally. It was my Spear, rider, uh, spear Riders went berserk, but they did manage to cause a lot of damage to him. Now you can see, again, just look at the great swords here. Their melee attacks actually buffed right now because of the grand uh, grand hammer. And right there, do you see how I timed the uh, charge of the Feral Manticore along with the Doom and Darkness? And it's going to break apart a huge portion of his army here. So I just keep breaking his state troops. And then as much as possible, I try and ride them down. Again, you can see the, the very much downside of the Spear Riders here. They go berserk, and he's just going to pull away and substitute infantry. So a huge downside to Spear Riders. So I think I'm going to try and get through here and get back into the fight. I want to kill his cavalry so they can't do too much of this. This is what he brought them for. I've got to stop them from doing that. And Marathi is taking a bit of a beating, but again, thankfully, her abilities over here significantly nerf the enemies around her. Significantly nerf. Look at the melee attack on the Empire Knights. Three... Nine on the swordsman, and then I'm able to get uh, I'm able to get some charges over here. I saw a bunch of units routing. I was like, I've got to chase these units all the way out. I can't let his army just keep regrouping. A risk I'm willing to take because I think that Marathi can tank out here momentarily with the help of this Manticore. The enemy's just not dealing much damage to me over here, so that's that's why I can tank this this particular area. So my strategy's working for now: terror and tanking. And uh, it, it's definitely working out at the moment. These state troops are getting hustled. You can see that they're they're being chased. I don't know if they actually go all the way off. I chased them close. No, they came back. That's frustrating. All I needed to do was chase them a little further. But I was really worried because Marathi was definitely starting to take a beating back here. A very risky position. So I needed these spear riders to come lend a hand. This last Empire Knight unit's going to give up here. So he's going to be out of mobile options. And I've got a few units um, left myself that can do a lot of damage. These Manticore are going to be a horrible unit for him to deal with. You can see that Volkmar is kind of taking a beating. The only unfortunate thing for me is a lot of my army can berserk. So you can see my <laughs> my uh, Death Hag is berserking. My Manticores are berserking. So this is unfortunate. It means I lose control of my army. So again, right here, my Cold One Spear Riders, at a, at a very inopportune moment, are going to go berserk right into a unit of spearmen. Uh, this is a huge, massive downside to these uh, these units. I, the berserk behavior on those units is honestly just a bit annoying. They would be absolutely superb units if it weren't for the berserk. I think that since they go berserk, they're probably a little bit expensive, but I don't know. You can see Marathi here actually finally gets caught out and killed. Uh, without the Death Hag around, the uh, enemies aren't nerfed as much, and Marathi's going to drop, but not before the Empire Captain gets pretty trashed, and then the Death Hag stops um, uh, berserking, is coming back. The other Manticore is headed back this way, so I'm going to be able to regroup some of my strength here. If I can take out Volkmar, we should be able to win this, but I know Volkmar's not going to necessarily be an easy target, because he's on a horse, he's fast, and he's going to try and run away, but look at that Manticore, just that diving assault there. And we're able to get uh, get him out of there momentarily, but again, I have to worry about my units going berserk. So I can't just leave him in melee for too long. I've got to keep the Manticore on target. You can see I'm really trying to assault Volkmar here. He's still got 790 hit points, and he knows that he's got to stay alive to have a chance here. Uh, the Empire Captain, again, knocked out of the fight earlier by a Manticore. So those Manticore have actually been pretty dang effective for me overall in terms of the amount of terror they're spreading here. And you can see, again, he thinks he's going to just keep running away, and he should. He needs to keep Volkmar away from me, but right there I land a nice hit, drop him down to 500 hit points, but he's not gone yet. I've got to continue giving chase. You're going to see he's going to use his infantry as best he can. Fortunately for me, most of his infantry are pretty beat up, and me having killed his cavalry earlier now comes in clutch because he's got nothing to really stop the... Uh, the mass of this Manticore. See that? He can't He can't pin the Manticore down. It's just not going to happen. Over here, the Manticore is berserking, but combined with the Death Hag, it actually ends up being a pretty decent combination. She's got anti-infantry damage, and she can tank pretty well against this infantry. 
Unless she doesn't have any help. But she's about to not have help. So Volkmar again running away. Trying to get away from the Manticore. This Manticore right now is just tanking damage. My Death Hag really should just come over here and help get rid of the Great Swords. So a bit of a mistake on my part. And you can see that the Death Hag just takes a nasty hit from Volkmar, Volkmar right there. But then he routes. So now I'm, I'm faced with the situation of, do I chase Volkmar all the way off the field? Will he come back with 130 hit points? Or do I sit here and try and go ahead and finish off the infantry real quick and put this battle to rest? Um, so it's a tough decision. I was like, yeah, I really want to chase Volkmar, but then I saw that my Death Hag's getting wrecked, and um, my Feral Manticore just routed, so I was like, uh, I can't leave the Death Hag to die because then I'd be forced to land and my opponent could just run units away from me. So I turn around and charge. I was like, we got to route some more of his units here in the center, and I've got to save the Death Hag. She was getting split apart by these great swords. She's managed 86 kills here, which is... Pretty impressive performance, all in all. So I'm going to let her, she's doing her thing rampaging, and fortunately for me, Volkmar shatters, and then all the rest of the Empire units shattered. So, very Pyrrhic victory. I'd kind of hoped that this strategy would play out this way. I was hoping that his army pick would be a lot of Empire Knights, because I'd brought all those Cold One Spear Riders to try and counter it. And I had also kind of hoped for a bunch of state troops, because I knew that the state troops had no chance of overcoming Marathi and the Death Hags combined huge hit to melee attack right and it worked they sat in the middle of that blob they weren't mounted so you know they're harder to get to they're harder to kill for the other units and so it just it ended up working out to what i wanted here so it was close it was close folks this guy knows how to play the game better than me right so what i had to hope for here was the right pick and to hope that I could give him trouble. Now, all in all, this is just my opinion. I think the Dark Elves are a lot better faction than the Empire. If I went up against this guy with the Empire and he was the Dark Elves, I'd probably lose every time. <laughs> um, I don't know. Some people may think the Empire can hold their own, but to me, Dark Elves feel like a better faction as a whole. But maybe that's not the case. I Again, this game, I love playing it. I play it, but I'm not like a, a super high-end player, right? I only know so much about it. But in this case, this is kind of what I hoped for. It's what I ran up against. It ended up working out. Um, part of me had wanted to bring a single Hydra instead of these two Manticore, and I'm really glad I didn't. The Manticore gave me the mobility that I needed while my Cold One Knights were busy taking out other units. You can see two of my Cold One Knights picked up a Chevron, which was nice work, and these ones killed a lot of infantry. Um, so really only one of them not doing a ton for me, but... Uh, Interesting and these guys already had chevrons, so don't don't make anything of that But you can see that uh, we actually managed to get a decent number of kills on one of these They were probably the ones in the vicinity of this crew here where the enemy's attack was just significantly nerfed um, You can see his great swords none of them picking up a chevron there uh, even though one of them got a pretty good number Big army big army with lots of troops. I think the hope here was is that I would bring elite infantry hoping to give him a pounding with the elite infantry and that I wouldn't have much mobility. He would then capitalize on the fact that I had brought dark shards and other units like that. He would wreck him with the Empire Knights and then turn around and destroy my infantry with the, the Empire Knights. So a lot of people, you know, predict things like this because dark shards are something that the, the dark elves can use to great effect against key units. And you can see by him spamming up a ton of infantry, and I say spamming, I'm not saying it's like it's mean, I did the same thing. Um, by him having a ton of these state troops, he has a lot of units to keep me busy. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of great units for my dark shards to target other than these great swords, right? But how am I going to fend off four empire knights if I've spent the money on dark shards or a dragon? So again, if I bring Malekith on the dragon, which is the predictable route, how am I going to fend off four empire knights? You're not. And I think that's the hope with this. And it's a good pick in that regard against a more typical dark elf army. And I was, again, hoping this would catch him a little more off guard. As soon as the battle started, you know, he started pulling back because I think he realized what I had done and was looking to try and get all of his units together for a proper assault. So, anyway, fun battle. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Heir of Carthage signing out for now. I will be back with more battles soon. Uh, thank you to my opponent for a tough, fun game there. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've lost to that same guy before. In general, I would say he's a better player. It worked out for me this time. You know, that's how this game rolls sometimes. You just got to get in, try things out. Don't be afraid to lose. Losing's not the end of the world. Uh, jump in there, play battles, have fun. If you all enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. It helps other people find this. 
And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified whenever the next video comes out. Air of Carthage signing out. I will see you soon.